think we're having millionaire babies. Let's go. I'm going to make it rain for my baby. And, okay, but anyways, we've each got a button on our plot to spawn in our kids. So here, let me go ahead and spawn in mine. Oh, hey, dad. Hey, how's it going, Dash Baby? Uh, all right, but where's the private jet? And, uh, wait, private jet? We don't have one of those yet. What? No private jet? Well, where's the Lambo? And, uh, wait, we don't have one of those either. What? Are you kidding me? That's it. Well, Dash, hit the button. Hit and, the oh, button. gosh, oh, gosh, wait. I got to hit the button quick and phew. Okay, there we go. He's gone. Well, anyways, I'm not letting my kid out until I have at least a mansion. And yeah, I definitely got to finish my house before I let my kid out again. But anyways, hmm, what should I build for my millionaire house? Wait, you're just building a millionaire house? Oh, that's pathetic. I'm building a millionaire palace. And uh, wait, what? A palace? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. And you guys are already starting building. Um, um, okay, I got to step up my game. What should I build? Let me think. Wait a minute. Okay, I just got a banger idea for what I can build here. Okay, let me go ahead and grab some wood really quick. I'm just going to grab some oak wood. Or, in fact, you know what? I'm feeling some spruce wood today. Let's go ahead and use that instead. And here, let me also go ahead and start using this wand. And here, I'm going to go ahead and start building the outline of my house. This is going to be the most epic modern mansion thing ever. It's going to be so sick looking. Wait, a modern mansion? That just looks like a wooden box. And uh, No, it's actually not a wooden box. It's a work in progress. Your thing literally just looks like a few towers, okay? So uh, you can't say anything. Uh, well, yeah, every palace needs some archer towers. What? You're building archer towers? Okay. Well, anyways, now that I've got the basic outline of my house complete, I need to start adding the entrance. So here, let me go ahead and build the door right over here. And I'm going to make this the most epic, grand, huge door you've ever seen. So here, let me go ahead and grab some dark oak wood as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and outline the entire door with this. This is going to make it look super sick. So there we go. And here, I got to make this place look super fancy. So here, let me go ahead and grab some fences and red carpet. And let me just go ahead and put those down right over here in the front, just like that. And <gasps> wait a minute. Hold on. Do you guys know what else mansions usually have at the fronts of their mansions? Uh, big driveways for all their big cars. Oh, uh, well, yeah, they have those, but they also have water fountains. So here, I'm going to go ahead and build an epic water fountain in front of my house. This is going to look sick. Water fountain, water fountain. I'm building a giant awesome vault inside my tower to keep out all the baddies from stealing my money. And, uh, wait, while you're building a vault inside of your tower? Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. I might have to do that as well. And whoa, uh, speaker baby, your palace is actually looking pretty sick. I got to catch up. All I've got is like a little box right now with like uh, some water fountains that aren't even done yet. So here, let me go ahead and put down all of the water over here in the front. And wait a minute, I can't just have the water over here on the floor. I need this to like actually be a fountain. So here, I guess let me also go ahead and put down some water over here like this. And okay, boom, there we go. This is starting to look sick. Yeah, your mansion is certainly sick, Dash. It's making me sick. Oh, God, I'm gonna throw up. What? No, dude. Okay, it's a work in progress still, okay? It's gonna look a lot nicer once it's done. But anyways, here, let me go over here on the inside. And now I gotta start building the interior. So, hmm, what do I build first? And, uh, wait, Speakerman, are you building an apartment or something? What in the world is that? No, I'm building a millionaire tower that all millionaires can stay at, like me and my son. What the? Okay, I definitely gotta catch up. Well, here, I guess the first thing I should probably build is, like, a kitchen area, right? Because, you know, everyone needs food, so that's probably, like, one of the important things. So here, let me go ahead and quickly set all of the floor into some wood just like that. And here, let me also go ahead and add in the roof. Here we go. Boom, there we go. And uh, hmm, where should I build the kitchen? I should probably have like separate rooms in this place. So uh, here, I guess I can build like a little hallway going like this. Let me build another room right over here. Boom, there we go. And I guess this could be kind of like the base of our house. And I guess we can make the kitchen right over here. This is gonna look sick. So here, for the kitchen, let me go ahead and set the entire floor into some quartz. Boom, and there we go. Now we gotta start building the actual kitchen. So here, I guess the first thing I should definitely do is go ahead and grab some fridges. And oh, we've got three fridges. All right, you already know I'm going with every single one of these. Boom, there we go. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and place down like two of each because, you know, why not? Why do you need so many fridges? Uh, well, of course I need this many fridges, you know? I, I can't have my kid running out of food and starving. I don't know. That many fridges just kind of seems unnecessary. Unnecessary? I've got 10 times that. And wait, what? You have 10 times this many fridges? Wait, hold on. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You, you wait, you have 10 times eight, so 80? Yeah, that's per floor. And what in the world? Wait, how many floors do you have? Uh, let's see. Let me count. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 floors. What in the world? Okay, well, that is a very large number of refrigerators, but anyways, here, uh, you know, refrigerators aren't the most important things, you know? Uh, we still need some fruit and here as well. So here, let me go ahead and put down a bunch of these little fruit stands over here. This is going to be uh, very good because you know what they say, apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? No, why do you have fruit in your mansion? What? Fruit is good. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know what? Here, I'll go ahead and throw in a few cakes in here as well. Just, you know, uh, for some like extra junk food and whoa, what the? There's so many different types of cake. Yeah, I bet there's more types of cake than there is fruit. What in the world is a lava cake? Uh, I don't know what that is, but here, I guess I'll go ahead and put one of those on the countertop over here just as like a little uh, junk food snack. But anyways, just like that, the 
kitchen area is complete, but wait a minute. Hold on. No, it's not. Since this is supposed to be like a, a millionaire mansion, you know, a millionaire people don't have time to go into the fridge and uh, prepare their food and eat it and all that. That just takes way too long. So what I need to do is set up an automatic food dispenser for whenever you walk into the room. Wait, doesn't food take like five minutes to prepare? Uh, yeah, dude, five minutes. And then imagine you're doing that every single day. That's like 17 million hours a year. Oh my God. Gosh, that's so long. That's not how that math works. And I, I'm pretty sure that is. But guys, yeah, you cannot be wasting 17 million hours a year uh, making food. So that's why I'm going to have these automatic food dispensers. But uh, wait, how do I make these? Uh, I need to make them so that they look nice, but also uh, like the work. So hmm. this is going to be kind of tough. Here, I guess the way that they can be activated is using some of these wooden pressure plates, which I can just put down right over here. And then right underneath these, I can go ahead and put down some redstone just like that. And I'm pretty sure when I walk over it, this redstone should be powered, right? And okay, yeah, perfect. That works really well. And here, now let me just go ahead and move the redstone over here to these blocks. And okay, well, this is going to be kind of tough. We don't have much room to work with. But I'm pretty sure if I just put a repeater over here and then move the redstone like that and then put a torch on top of it and then put another redstone torch on top of that and then another one on top of that and then one more like this. And then just go ahead and connect some redstone like this to all of the dispensers. And let me just put something inside of this dispenser for testing purposes. I'm pretty sure now if I walk over this, it should activate. And oh my gosh, that worked perfectly. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that to work first try, but that worked pretty well. So here, now all I got to do is just go ahead and cover all of this up and make it look really nice because, you know, I don't want the redstone just showing. And let me go ahead and also cover it up on this side over here. Boom, there we go. And okay, perfect. I think this area should be complete. Let's test it out again. Perfect. It still works. But anyways, hmm, I can't just have wood inside of these dispensers. I need to have some sort of like a proper snack. So let's see. I guess in the first dispenser, I can go ahead and put some steak, you know, because that's a pretty good food. You should definitely put like candy or cake in the second one because they're super healthy. What? Dude, candy and cake is not very healthy, but Hold on, let me see. What type of food should I put in this second one? We've got a lot of food that I can work with. And whoa, okay. What in the world is a red hypergiant star melon? That sounds out of this world. Like, literally. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what that thing is. But oh, wait, I guess I can go ahead and put some enchanted emerald apples in here. These things are probably super good. Ew, apples are gross. And oh my gosh, they are not gross. But anyways, just like that, the kitchen area is complete. This area looks sick. In fact, let me go ahead and put another block over here. And just like that to make it look a little bit nicer. And Boom, there we go. Now the kitchen is 100% complete. Right about it being sick. No, what? No, 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 dude. I didn't mean like that type of sick. I meant like the cool type of sick. And anyways, what are you building? Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, is it just me or does your base kind of look like a cake speaker, baby? Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm making a cake palace. That good eyes. And oh, I see. I see you're making a cake palace. Uh, that's interesting. And whoa, speaker man, your castle, I mean, uh, not castle, apartment is looking sick. Uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm not even finished building with it yet. Whoa, yeah, you've got like a lot of floors. I can't even count how many that is right now but here let me go back into my house and here what do i build next i've already got the kitchen down and oh yeah right okay i need some sort of entertainment because you know uh, if there was no entertainment in here that would be uh, pretty boring yeah if i lived in a mansion and there was nothing to do i would be super bored and yeah hmm, what could i build for entertainment let me think what could be super interesting for like a, a baby wait a minute i just got a banger idea what about an elytra course that is gonna be super entertaining oh yeah that does sound pretty fun but that gives me an idea and wait it does what are you gonna build i am going to build a jetpack course. Whoa, what the? A jetpack course? Wait, hold on. That actually sounds like a really good idea. I might have to copy that. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, I found the jetpacks. No, no, no. You stay away from them. I'll have the jetpack course and you can have the electric course. You stay away. And okay, fine, fine, fine. I guess I'll build the electric course, but it's fine because my electric course is gonna be much better anyways. But here, now all I gotta do is just go ahead and like have some fence over here. And this is gonna be where I start my electric course. So here, let me just go ahead and have like a little opening in the fence like that. Let me also go ahead and grab a chest. And wait a minute, hold on. Taking an electro out of a chest that takes way too long. You know, millionaires cannot be wasting time. So what we're going to do instead is put some dispensers over here on the floor like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it up with a bunch of elytras and then put a pressure plate on top of it. And I'm pretty sure whenever you walk over this, it should automatically put the elytra on. Yeah, look at that. That's sick. But wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure this dispenser is going to like look weird over here underneath. So uh, hold on. I might need to move this. I guess we can just go ahead and have it over here like that. And then we could put a block over there. And then I'm pretty sure this should get activated. Let me take off my elytra right now. And hold on. Is this going to work? And oh, uh, that does not work. Here, I guess I can just go ahead and put down a button over here, and I'm pretty sure this should work. And yeah, okay, perfect, that works. But anyways, the next thing that we're also gonna need for an electric course are some fireworks. So here, I guess let me go ahead and put down another dispenser right over here for the fireworks. And let me go ahead and put a button on that, and let me go ahead and grab some really quick. And oh wait, actually, hold on, I'm pretty sure I have to craft them. So let me go ahead and grab some gunpowder, and a little bit of paper, and a crafting table. And boom, there we go, we got some firework rockets. Let me shove those inside of this dispenser, and okay, there we go. Oh, 
uh, wait, I forgot that the dispenser is gonna shoot off the fireworks. Okay, maybe I have to use a dropper for this instead. Wait, yeah, you didn't know that? Uh, the what? No, I, I definitely know. Look, it, it works now. Look, it's dropping uh, fireworks. It's perfect. You totally didn't know that. Yeah, I don't think he knew that. And, uh, okay, okay, well, it's fine, it's fine. I gotta figure it out now, but anyways, let me also go ahead and grab some black and white wall for this entrance area. This is just gonna make it look nice, because, you know, it's like the starting line. So, there we go, and boom, there we go. Now that the start of the electric course is complete, I can actually start building the, like, real thing. So, here, let me go ahead and grab a little bit of purple wool and just build up with it over here. And I guess we can go ahead and have the first part of the electric course be right over here. Let's just go ahead and make like a little circle. Just like that. Boom. There we go. And this is what we're going to have to fly through with the elytras. But hold on. I should break all of these blocks really quick. And wait, hold on. Before we actually build any more of these rings, let me go ahead and grab an elytra really quick and test out if this is actually possible. So here we go. And wait, did I get the elytra? And oh, wait, hold on. I, I think I forgot to fill up the dispenser. And oh, yeah, hold on. I need to put all the elytras in here. All right. And here we go. Let's test this out now. Now that I've got an elytra, boom, just like that. And okay, that is definitely possible. Oh gosh, wait, these rockets make me a little bit too fast. But anyways, now that we know that everything works, let me just go ahead and select this position over here. And then let me do the command slash slash copy. And now wherever I go, I can just instantly go ahead and run the command slash slash paste and boom, instantly paste in another ring. So here, how big should we make this elytra course? Hmm, let me see. I guess we can make it pretty big. So here, let me go ahead and have the next area be over here. And then we can have the next ring be all the way out here. Okay, we're getting very far from the arena. And wait, hold on. Let's go ahead and make this one over here at a slight angle so that people know which direction they're supposed to go. So I'm pretty sure we just have to do a little something like this. There we go. Boom. That looks pretty good. And now we can go ahead and paste in the next one right over here. And then I say we paste in one more right over here. And here, let's also go ahead and make this one an angled one really quick, just like this. Boom. There we go. And now we can just start heading back to the house. So here, I guess we can put the next one down over here. And uh, let's go ahead and make another angled one over here. There we go. Looking good. And now we just need to have like one more ring over here. Or wait, actually, I should probably build like a little landing platform over here. Let me expand this fence a little bit. Let's just go ahead and make this fence go all the way back over here. And let me also go ahead and grab a little bit of black and white carpet to indicate that this is the finish line. Just like that. Boom. There we go. And now we can go ahead and have the final ring be right over here. Let me go ahead and slash slash paste this in. Boom. There we go. Oh, wait, hold on. It's facing the wrong way. Let me slash slash undo that and then do slash slash rotate really quick and then slash slash paste one more time boom there we go now it's facing the right way and oh wait actually hold on i should probably make this one black and white as well since it's like the last ring oh is this your electric course you're building this looks you know like pretty easy and oh uh yeah hi speaker man this is the electric course what do you think you're doing to take it for a spin uh, no i definitely don't because this is way too easy i'd be able to complete it so fast and i, I highly doubt that it's actually pretty difficult i haven't tested it out yet but uh i don't think it's gonna be easy all right well i'll grab an elytra and just show you how easy this course actually is and okay okay well if you think it's so easy, then why don't we race? I bet I can beat you easily. Uh, no way you can. I'm definitely going to be able to beat you. And okay, okay, we'll see about that. Well, anyways, here, on your marks. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely ready. All right, all right, get set and go. Let's go. And here we go, here we go. I just got to fly through all of these rings. Wait, hold on. It's actually pretty easy so far, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I told you. And uh, wait, actually, I don't think it's easy. I'm pretty sure I'm just like really good. And here we go. I'm almost at the finish line. Boom, there we go. I made it. And did you see that? I made it before you. Too easy. Uh, no, it was a tie. We were literally neck and neck. What? No, I finished like two seconds before you. That is like a huge lead. Uh, no, you didn't. Wow, what are you two noobs doing? I bet I could beat both of you with my helicopter. Uh, what in the world is that? Uh, it's my helicopter. Can't you see? Uh, is that really just a helicopter couch? Yeah, I get travel and comfort at the same time, but look, I could just do this Elytra course easily. Whoa, what the? Okay, that thing actually is pretty fast, but wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure Elytras are faster. I can catch up. Here we go. I'm coming for you. I don't think you can catch up. This thing is super fast. I'm right behind you. Come here, speaker, baby. And boop, there we go. I just destroyed your sofa. You broke my helicopter. Uh, you'll pay for that. Oh, yeah. Wait, don't worry about it. I'm like a millionaire. Here you go. Uh, they should cover it. Oh, right. I forgot we're millionaires. I'll just go up buy another one. And yeah, but anyways, here, I got to get back to building my stuff. Here we go. This electric course is pretty sick, but I still need some more entertainment because like only an electric course, it's going to get repetitive quickly. Yeah, well, I'm going to have plenty of entertainment in my bedroom because I have a whole PC set up in here. And wait a minute, a bedroom. Yeah, okay, right. That's what I need to make next. Uh, I guess I can just go ahead and build that right over here, right? Uh, you're always copying my ideas. First, the jetpack thing, and now this. And, uh, what, dude? I didn't even copy the jetpack idea i did the electric course and uh, dude you did not come up with bedrooms okay there's a completely original idea and you know what in fact i'm gonna build like a second floor to my base you know i'm not gonna build the bedroom on the first floor because uh, second floor bedrooms are always better you know the second floor is all right but i'm having mine on the penthouse suite on the 26th floor and okay well then my base is in an apartment okay so it's still gonna be pretty nice yeah yeah it's not gonna be nearly as nice as my 26 floors but whatever okay okay we'll see about that but anyways here i just gotta finish building my fancy staircase right now this staircase actually looks sick it's like a the one 
one staircase and then it like breaks up into two staircases it's pretty cool so here let me just go ahead and finish putting all of these blocks in here now let me just go underneath the staircase and let me go ahead and put some upside down stairs over here just to make everything look really smooth and nice looking there we go let me go ahead and repeat the same on this side over here and boom there we go this staircase is looking pretty nice but anyways hmm what should I do on this second floor um here I guess let me go ahead and build like the walls for the second floor first I guess I can just go ahead and build them up over here because I don't want to interfere with the elytra course or wait, wait, wait actually hold on this gives me a really good idea why don't I just go ahead and like build the walls a little bit inwards like this and let me go up over here and let me go ahead and select this position and then also this position over here and let me run the command slash slash walls boom there we go and pretty much the reason that I didn't build the walls like covering the entire house is because now I can have a nice little balcony area over here there's gonna be sick I'm pretty sure like uh, every mansion has a balcony so uh, I definitely needed this but anyways here let me just go ahead and have this balcony going all the way around the entire estate this is gonna look super sick wait did you just say a steak and I uh, yeah dude that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a grand estate all right that's what the fancy people call it wait 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 you own an entire state uh, no 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 estate like it's starting with an e oh I don't know what that means I'm pretty sure it's what people call like big houses or something but anyways here now that I've got this second floor area I, I guess the first thing I should probably do is build like a little door to get out to the balcony and then I'll go ahead and start building the bedrooms it's gonna be so sick but anyways here I guess I can have the balcony area be right over here like that and wait wait, wait, wait hold on one thing that my entire house is kind of lacking are some windows so let me do slash slash set glass boom there we go okay that is looking really nice here I should probably do the same over here in the front of the house as well so let me go ahead and select these positions and then boom set glass and oh uh, the water fountain is kind of getting in the way in fact uh, you know what I should probably move these waters down a little bit let me just go ahead and break them like that and let me wait for all that to clear and I guess I can just go ahead and like have it over here on the floor and wait, why does that look so bad hold on I need to try this again let me try over here and okay that looks pretty good let me go ahead and repeat the same on this side and boom there we go the water fountain is looking sick but now let me go ahead and add in the rest of the windows let me go ahead and add some over here in the kitchen as well there we go and wait hold on I should probably get rid of these baskets over here just like that let's add some more windows over here and okay you know what we gotta have windows everywhere windows look sick let me go ahead and put some more over here and here let's go ahead and put one more big one right over here there we go all right that's uh, enough windows for now but anyways now I gotta start building the actual bedroom so here I guess what I can do is build two bedrooms right I'll build one bedroom over here for me and then I'll build one on the other side for dash baby so here let me go ahead and select these positions like that and then let me do the command slash slash walls boom there we go let me go ahead and put some doors right over here just like that and okay it is looking pretty nice of course let me also go ahead and set the roof there we go and okay this will be my bedroom and okay we don't have that much space up here I might have to make another bedroom for a dash baby because this one is pretty small I'm not gonna lie wait you have a small bedroom my kid has an entire floor for his bedroom and wait what you built an entire floor for a bed how do you even build a bedroom that big what do you even need in a bedroom uh you know like bookshelves a gaming computer a, a bed and you know just there's just the good stuff and, oh gosh okay well uh this bedroom might be a little bit too small that I'm not gonna lie uh, you know what well uh actually th this is just gonna be the guest room okay yeah th this is just the guest room I'll build a another floor for the bedrooms oh wow copying me again you're stealing everything what dude no like I said you did not invent bedrooms okay I can build a bedroom if I want oh my gosh why do you guys even need bedrooms and, uh, wait what you're not gonna build a bedroom uh, no millionaires don't need to sleep we need to grind uh, I'm pretty sure sleep is pretty important for your health though and yeah wait shouldn't you get like eight hours of sleep per night guys the grind doesn't sleep I have to keep hustling and oh uh, fair enough but uh I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, eight hours of sleep is important so I'm gonna build bedrooms I think yeah same here you guys just don't understand the grind set uh okay but anyways there we go my guest room floor is complete this area looks pretty sick but hold on before I start building the bedroom floor which I guess I can build up here on the next floor I think I should add one more thing to the guest room since I do have a lot of empty space right over here wait a minute okay I just got a banger idea okay I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier but I gotta build a private gym oh yeah that actually sounds like a great idea and yeah exactly because you know if my kids just staying home all day doing nothing then uh, that's not gonna be very healthy so you know I need to build a gym so that he can get super buff so here let me go ahead and put down these blocks right over here just like that and here let me go ahead and put down some doors right over here for the gym there we go let's also go ahead and put down a window over here for the gym just to make it look a little bit nicer there we go and now we can start building the actual gym so here let me see what type of equipment we can use and here let me just go ahead and grab you know all the essentials so you know we'll get a treadmill we'll get a dumbbell rack and ooh, yeah okay we'll grab some dumbbells as well oh a bench rest we're definitely gonna need that oh this sounds all so healthy and what are you like allergic to being healthy or something yeah last time i tried to be healthy i had to go to the hospital and uh, what in the world I, I don't think that's uh true oh yeah it is i tried to feed an apple and it went very bad and oh gosh that's interesting but anyways i think my gym 
gym over here should be about complete. In fact, hold on. Let me go ahead and move all of these treadmills one block forward. Let me just go ahead and select them like that. And then slash slash move. Boom. There we go. And wait, hold on. I accidentally moved this dumbbell. Let me put that back where it was. And hmm. okay, what other gym equipment do I need? My gym is actually pretty small. I don't really have much space to work with here. And ooh, wait, okay. What about a punching bag? That's probably going to be important. Let me go ahead and grab one of those. And uh, where can I put this? I barely have enough space in my gym. You know what? We're just going to have the punching bag right over here next to the door. So as soon as you walk in the gym, you give it two punches and then you're on your way to the bench rest and you go to the treadmill and then you do the dumbbell weights and yeah, you're going to get huge. Uh, that was a lot of words. Yeah, dude. That's how you get jacked. But anyways, now that I've got the gym complete and all of the guest rooms complete, I got to build the actual bedroom. So here, let me go ahead and grab some more stairs. Oh, wait, I actually already have them. And here, let me go ahead and build the staircase to get up to the next floor right over here. This is going to be super sick looking. All right. Well, anyways, now that the staircase is done, I can start building the actual bedroom floor. And I guess I can have two floors for the bedroom. I can have one bedroom floor for myself and then one bedroom floor for Dash Baby. So here, why don't we go ahead and build Dash Baby's bedroom floor first? I guess the first thing we should probably do is go ahead and add some windows to make this place look super nice. So let me do slash slash set glass. Boom. Let me go ahead and do the same over here on all of the sides because we got to get this place to look lit uh, literally because like the sunlight. And then let's go ahead and put some fences down over here. And now we got to put down the actual bed. So here, let's see what type of bed could we use? Because I don't want to just use like a normal bed. And Ooh, wait, what about these modern beds? These things look sick. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one of these purple modern beds. And let's just go ahead and place down two of them right over there just like that. Okay, wait, this bedroom is actually starting to look really sick, even though we've only got a bed. But anyways, I guess the next thing we should probably do is, uh, I don't know, like grab a cabinet or something. We can grab one of these oak bedside cabinets and we can just have two of them right over there like that. And, and okay, hmm, what else is a bedroom gonna need? And, oh, wait, okay, yeah, uh, we need a desk, definitely. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. And ooh, wait a minute, hold on. This one over here actually, it looks pretty cool and it's even got a computer and everything. But wait, hold on, let's see what other type of desks there are. And ooh, wait a minute, hold on. This one actually looks pretty cool. It's called the outdoor table. And wait, look, it's got like glass on it and everything, even though we're indoors. But wait, this actually looks kind of cool. I think I'm gonna use this one. Let's just go ahead and make a nice little desk right over here. And then let me also go ahead and grab a computer. And we can go ahead and put that right over here in the middle of the desk. Perfect. And now I also need to go ahead and grab a chair. And ooh, wait a minute, hold on. These office chairs look pretty sick. Let me go ahead and put those down right over there. And boom, there we go. Check it out. The desk setup is complete. Wait, just a desk and a bed, that's it? And uh, uh no, that's not it for the bedroom. I still got more plans. Uh, okay, what else do I build? Oh, wait, what if I put like a couch or something in, in one of the corners? That could be pretty cool. Definitely didn't have any more plans. And here, but let's check out this one. Is this one good? And okay, wait, this one looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, looking pretty snazzy. I guess we can go ahead and put down one of these right over here, just like that, looking good. And let's also go ahead and put down another one right over here using this couch, because both these couches look pretty cool. I don't know which one Dash Baby is gonna like more. And hmm, what else do I need in a bedroom? Yeah, well, I've got a whole basketball court in my bedroom. Wait. What? You built a basketball court in your bedroom? What? Uh, yeah, so my kid has plenty of entertainment in his bedroom, you know? And oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, I gotta catch up. Uh, what do I build for entertainment other than the desk? Don't steal my basketball idea. And, okay, okay. I wasn't planning on, but well, wait. What if I build like a little soccer court? That could be cool. And oh, wait, hold on a minute. Look, there's actually a soccer goal. Let me go ahead and grab that. And I'm pretty sure I can just put it right over here. And okay, that looks pretty good. And here, let me quickly go ahead and spawn in a soccer ball. Boom. There we go. And okay, perfect. Now I've got a fully functional soccer ball. Uh, court field. I don't know what to call it, but wait, how do I get the ball out when it goes inside of the goal? Uh, wait, I didn't think about this. No, come out ball. How am I supposed to get this thing out? Y you know what? I'm just going to move the goal and then I'll kick the ball away. Okay, there we go. That works. And boom, there we go. This bedroom area actually looks pretty sick. But anyways, now that I've got Dash Baby's bedroom complete, I need to go and build my bedroom. So here, let me go ahead and just uh, extend this staircase going a few floors higher. I'll just go ahead and put down some more stairs over here just like this. There we go. Looking pretty good. And now let me go ahead and add in the floor. So let me just go ahead and select all of these positions. And then let me go ahead and quickly set the floor. Boom, there we go. And all right, there we go. Perfect. This staircase actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. But anyways, now I got to build my bedroom. So here, I guess for the bed, I can just copy the bed from down here. Let me go ahead and grab this. And oh, wait, I can also copy the bedside cabinet as well. So let me just go ahead and put those over here. Gotta make sure to put them in the same position so it's all symmetrical. There we go, looking good. And honestly, I could probably just copy most of the stuff down there uh, to up here. So let me go ahead and put down another desk up that looks like the exact same. There we go. Go. And here, let me also go ahead and put down some couches just like that. Wait a minute. I just got a banger idea for one more thing I can build in the bedrooms. What if I put down a mini fridge? And wait, actually, not even a mini fridge. I'm going to put down an entire full fridge just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with a bunch of nice drinks. So let me grab some water. And ooh, wait, what in the world is this? A super energy drink? Okay, wait, this thing actually looks pretty OP. I can put some of these inside of the fridge. So here, let me just go ahead and fill up the fridge with a bunch of these super energy drinks. And okay, there we go. This fridge is looking sick. Let me also go ahead and put a fridge up here as well. And boom, 
think there we go. The fridges are complete. But anyways, I guess let me go ahead and extend these walls now for the next thing. Let me just go ahead and select these and then run the command slash slash stack five. Boom. There we go. And, and oh, uh, wait, hold on. I think I did something wrong. I need to break some of these fridges. Oh, gosh. Wait, what in uh, what the heck is this, dude? What is going uh, on? But what are you doing here? Uh, I, I had a little accident. Don't worry about it. Uh, we had a little leak. A little leak? Dude, do you have cans everywhere? I, 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 don't worry about it. I'm picking them up. Okay, it's fine. Uh, there we go. Look, a mess cleaned. It's all dealt with. Uh, yeah, sure. And wait, what was even that? Uh, super energy drinks? I'm stealing one of these. And what? No, dude, that was my idea. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess you have one as well now. Yeah, but I'm putting these in all my fridges. And okay, dude, you're just straight up stealing my idea at this point. I see, I see. Hey, you stole my idea for the bedrooms. And uh, you did not invent bedrooms. How many times do I have to tell you that? But okay, there we go. My bedroom up here is now complete. I don't really know what else to add. I don't really need like a soccer court or anything. So here, I guess let me go ahead and add the final roof of the house now. Just like that. There we go. And boom, there we go. My bedrooms are complete. This area is actually starting to look pretty cool. I mean, it looks all right, but where's all the fun things? You only have an electric course. And it, what, what do you mean? I've got an electric course. I've got like a kitchen. I've got a gym. I've got soccer. That, that's so fun. Yeah, but look at what I'm building. I'm building a roller coaster. These are fun. And whoa, okay, a roller coaster. That's actually a pretty good idea. Hmm, okay, I got to build more like entertainment stuff. Let me think. Wait a minute. I just got a banger idea. What if I build a private jet runway? I'm pretty sure Dash Baby was asking for a private jet and a Lambo earlier. So I guess there's a good opportunity for that. So here, I guess let me go ahead and build like a little platform over here where I can build the runway. And wait, wait, actually, hold on. I got an even better idea. What if I build both a car garage and a runway? That way I can have all of the Lambos down here and I can have all of the private jets up here. Uh, you just started on your first plane. Uh, I've got three PJs ready and lined up on the runway ready for takeoff. I Wait, the, what's a PJ? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, you guys don't know what a PJ is? Uh, how are you guys rich? Uh, what? A PJ? Uh, no, hold on. What, what is a PJ? That's like two letters. What could it stand up for? Oh, wait, doesn't it mean pajamas? And Oh, yeah, right. Uh, you have like pajamas? What, what does that mean? Uh, no, a PJ is a private jet. You guys should know that by now. And what? Uh, okay, well, uh, I guess I'll build my garage first, and then I'll start building my PJs later. Uh, you guys clearly don't have any yachties yet. H hold on. I got to make this call. And, uh, what's a yachty? I don't know. Uh, yeah, just make sure to have all the yachts down by the pier whenever I'm ready. And, wait, a yacht? Uh, yeah, hold on. I'm in a call. I think all this money is getting to his head. And Oh, gosh. Well, uh, I'm going to finish up with my garage. Let me go ahead and put down this door over here. Boom, this door is looking sick. And here, now let me go ahead and set all of this floor to some concrete. Boom, there we go. Looking good. And now I just got to finish up all of these walls just like this. And here, let me also go ahead and make a little door so that I can get into the garage from my house. Boom, there we go. Looking good. And now I can start putting down the actual cars. But wait. Actually, let me also go ahead and put a window over here. I think windows look really cool. Flash, flash, set, glass. Boom. There we go. We've got a window. And anyways, now it is time for the cars. So here, let me see. What type of cars could I even use? And oh, the, the golf cart? No. Okay, I need something nicer than that. I need a Lambo. And oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What about a dune buggy? Wait, hold on. Is this going to look cool? And what did i just get scammed that is not a dune buggy what is this well what is it and uh here you guys want to check out my new ride check it out it's the uh, well, it's supposed to be a dune buggy i don't really know what this thing is <laughs> you are in a tricycle and uh, what no look it can drift and yo check it out i can do wheelies check that out that was sick i mean it's kind of cool i guess for like babies yeah that does not compare to the new aventador i just ordered and the one in the world is an aventador i think that's what you use for like acs like the vents and yeah but wait why did you just bring that up why is he talking about his vents i don't know okay that guy's weird but anyways let me go ahead and get rid of this because i'm definitely gonna need a better vehicle than that and here let me see what other types of cars are there i need something good and come on i, I can't go with the smart car there's got to be something better than that and oh wait hold on what about a mini bus is this gonna be cool let's check it out and okay uh a mini bus is a no let's see come on we need something good I'm just gonna go with a go-kart since those are super fast and oh yeah fair enough and you know what honestly i think i'm just gonna go with a dirt bike since you know those are also super fast and dirt bikes are also super fun so boom dirt bikes it is you know who needs a car when you can have a dirt bike which can go just as fast so here let me go ahead and put down a bunch of these right over here just like that boom there we go looking good the dirt bike garage looks sick but anyways now that the garage is done i gotta start building the runway for the private jet so here where should i build it hmm, i guess i could build it up over here but it's barely gonna be enough room you know what wait why why don't I go ahead and build it on the roof of my house? There's going to be a lot more room up there. Here, let me just go ahead and hop up over here. And okay, yeah, I can build a giant runway up here. Let me just go ahead and put down a bunch of blocks just like this. And okay, now this is going to be a nice runway here. Let's go ahead and put down a bunch of concrete and a bunch of these yellow lines to make it look more like a plain runway. There we go. I think that should be good. And now let me go ahead and select it with my wand. And then I can just run the command slash slash stack to stack it. Boom. There we go. Now we've got a nice long plane runway. Wait, you've only got one plane runway? I've got a whole fleet of PJs ready to go. 
one. What? Okay, well, you know, I don't need a, a bunch of planes, okay? All I need is one really good one, yeah. Well, how are you going to get one good one? They're all the same size. And, uh, hmm, yeah, I didn't think about that. Well, you know what? I'll just build my own plane. I don't need to use these pre-made ones. I'm going to build my own. What? You're building your own airship? <laughs> no way that thing's going to be able to fly. What? No, dude, of course it's going to be able to fly. Here, what I got to do is go ahead and put down a bunch of blocks over here. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me go ahead and grab some quartz. I'm going to build it out of quartz. Let me just go ahead and build the body of the plane right over here. And, uh, in fact, I can go ahead and use the wand to make this longer. Let me do slash slash stack. Anyway, hold on. Let me go ahead and round off the edges a little bit so it kind of looks more like a plane. I've never really built a plane before, so uh, this is going to look interesting. But anyways, now let me go ahead and slash slash stack this. So there we go. That should be... Oh, okay. That might be a little bit too long, actually. Let me try slash slash stack five. And okay, there we go. This should be good. But anyways, now let me go ahead and make the main cabin area for all of the passengers just like that. And here, let me go ahead and grab some stairs that we can use as seats. So let me go ahead and put these down right over here like that. This is going to be the most epic elite private jet you've ever seen. It's going to be so sick. Yeah, well, it's not going to compare to my fleet of private jets. Okay, okay, we'll see about that. My one private jet is going to be so much better than your fleet of them. But anyways, now let me go ahead and grab some glass and let me just go ahead and install all of the windows really quick, just like this. Boom, there we go. And okay, this is actually starting to take shape and like look like a plane now. Okay, that's pretty good. Next thing I got to do is go ahead and make the front area for the pilot to sit in. So here, let me go ahead and make that really quick. Let's just put some glass over here for the main window. And then let me see. I also need to grab one of these captain's chairs. There we go. Let me grab one of these captain's chairs. And I guess I can go ahead and put down two of them. Uh, so we can have like a, one backup captain and then one main one. And here, I guess the next thing I should probably do is add a roof to the main cabin right over here. There we go. And now all I got to do is go ahead and add like the tail area of the plane and also the wings. And then it should be ready to fly. How you doing, peasant? And uh, wait, what? Wait, who are you calling peasant here? Uh, you, because look, I'm already in my PJ ready for takeoff. And, uh, dude, do you see the size of your plane compared to mine? My thing is going to be so much better than yours once it is complete. You see my plane in the air and yours not? Hey, mine is going to be in the air very soon. I just got to finish building all the wings and stuff. Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. All right, well, let me just park this plane inside my giant tower. There we go. And oh my gosh, whatever. And whoa, what the? Okay, you really do have a fleet of private jets. Well, uh, my one jet is going to be way better. Look, I just got to finish building it. The next thing I got to do is go ahead and build all of the wings. So here, let me go ahead and do that right now. So let's just go ahead and put a bunch of blocks right over here for the wing. Let's see, how does this look? And okay, wait, that wing actually doesn't look too bad. Although, wait, I'm pretty sure I can make it look nicer if I replace all of the quartz with some slabs. And okay, yeah, there we go. That does look a lot nicer. I'm not going to lie. And here, let me also go ahead and slash slash move it one forward. And okay, yeah, this area is looking sick. Now, all I got to do is just go ahead and slash slash copy this and then slash slash rotate. And then let me go over here on this side and run the command slash slash paste. And boom, there we go go. Uh, wait, hold on. That did not paste how I wanted it to. Oh, gosh. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me go ahead and try that one more time. And Okay, perfect. There we go. Now, I think the wings are all lined up. Perfect. Okay, it looks very nice and symmetrical. But anyways, just like that, the plane is pretty much complete. All I gotta do now is go ahead and add a little entrance door right over here. So let me just build that right over here, just like that. Let me go ahead and build a little staircase over here so that, you know, people can actually get on the plane and all that. There we go. Looking good. And wait, hold on. I've also got one more idea. Let me go ahead and add some purple color color accents just to make the plane not look super bland. So there we go. This is going to make the plane look sick. Hey there, broke boy. How's it going? Uh, uh, who are you calling broke boy, dude? Uh, okay, but well, my plane is about to take off. You ready to race in a second? Uh, sure, we could try and race, but uh, you're going to get left in the dust. Okay, okay. We'll see about that here. Let me just go ahead and finish adding all of these purple color accents to my plane. This is going to look dope. And boom, there we go. The purple color accents are complete. All right, speaker man, are you ready to race? My plane is fully done. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready to beat you as well. And and okay, okay, we'll see about that here. Let me just go ahead and hop in my passenger seat really quick. And oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to put the engine down. Hold on. Let me just go ahead and put that right over here. We're going to get rid of one of the pilot seats. And let me put this thing right inside of it just like that. And boom, there we go. Okay, I think my ship is ready to take off. And okay, speaker man, I think my plane is ready to take off. Are you ready to do a race? Yeah, we'll get off the ground first. And okay, okay, just give me a second. Let me just start taking off. And oh my gosh, this plane is sick. Are you seeing this right now? Whoa, wait, I wasn't actually expecting it to work. And oh my gosh, this is actually sick. Okay, yeah, uh, I think speaker man, I think my plane is definitely faster than yours. Where are you at? Let's race. Uh, I'm just flying around. I'm ready to race whatever you are. And Okay, okay, well, here, where are we racing to? Uh, how about meet me over here at the last ring on my electric course over here? Okay, I'm here and wait, is your plane hovering? What in the world? And Oh, yeah, uh, it's a special plane. Don't worry about it. It can uh, literally hover, but anyways, where are you at? I don't see you. Uh, I'm flying around in a circle. And Oh, wait, hold on. I see you, speaker man. Well, anyways, on the count of three, let's 
let's see who's the first one who can reach your tower. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I've got to, you know, spin around. But whenever I spin around, let's start this. And okay, okay. Well, I guess since you're spinning around, you do the countdown whenever you go. All right, in three, two, one, go, 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 go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see who's going to be faster. And uh, Super Man, I'm almost there. How are you doing? Uh, I just made it. There we go. And wait, I'm pretty sure I made it at like the exact same time. Uh, the, Who won that? I don't know. I think it was a tie. Wait, uh, speaker, baby. What? I'm trying to build an... Oh, my God. Gosh, what is that thing? And oh, uh, the speaker maybe this is my PJ. Oh no, not you too. And what, dude? It's just my PJ. I don't know what you're on about. Those are not pajamas. What do you want? Well, speaker baby, we are doing a race, and we need you to track us and see who is actually winning in the private jet race. Uh, sure. Uh, where are you guys starting, and where are you guys finishing? And oh well, uh, we're starting all the way over here. And what in the world are you doing, speaker man? Oh, I'm doing evasive maneuvers. What in the world? Okay, well, uh, speaker baby, we're gonna be starting over here at the end of my electric course. So like over here on the far. End. Yeah, and we're ending at the tower, so you need to see who actually wins the race. And yeah. Okay, I'll be at the tower. All right, well, I'm ready. I just got to do one more turnaround, and I'll do the countdown. And all right, all right, sounds good. In three, two, one, go, 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 go. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. Come on, I have to win this. And okay, I see the tower. It is in sight. Come on. And yes. Okay, did I win, speaker, baby? Uh, yeah, that was clearly you. Let's go. Too easy. Wasn't even trying. Oh my gosh, I got to get my mechanics to make a better plane. And okay, yeah, good luck with that. There's no way those small planes are competing with this giant airship of a plane. But anyways, here, now I gotta go ahead and land this thing. Uh, landing is gonna be kind of tough, maybe. Here, let me just go ahead and go down a little bit. Come on. And oh gosh, wait, hold on. I gotta line this up perfectly. I don't wanna accidentally damage the jet or anything. Uh, so here we go. Come on, let me just bring it down like that. And okay, I think that should be good. Uh, let's just bring it a little higher. There we go. And here, now let me go ahead and turn off the ship. And okay, I think we should be good. Although, uh, hold on, we kind of landed at like a bit of an angle, but it's fine. You know, uh, it's perfect landing. Yeah. Uh, come on, mechanics, speed it up. I need a better plane. And, uh, dude, are you really yelling at your mechanics? There's no way some random mechanics can outdo me and my giant build and Wait, are those piles of gold? What in the world is this floor? Uh, it's a vault. Do you not have a vault in your base? And uh, wait, you have an entire vault down here? No, I don't have a vault. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I gotta catch up. Uh, come on, I gotta go build this quick. Wait, speaker baby, do you have a vault? Uh, yeah, of course I do. Wait, you don't? And, wait, but everyone's got a vault except for me. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, uh, no, I, I definitely have a vault. He definitely does not have a vault. Yeah, it totally doesn't sound like he has one. And uh, no, 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 no. I've definitely got a vault. I'm uh, definitely not building it right now as we speak. I think he's building it right now as we speak. Uh, what makes you think that? Because you just totally implied it. Uh, no, I didn't. But anyways, here, let me put down some trap doors over here like that. I'm gonna build my vault underground. It's gonna be super sick looking. Let me go ahead and just put down some ladders going down to the basement like this. And here, now let me just go ahead and clear out some space. Let me go ahead and select both of these positions right over here. And then let me run the command slash slash stack 10. Boom. There we go. Okay, there should be plenty of room for a vault. And you know what? Here, I'm just gonna set the walls to obsidian. Boom. There we go. Because I cannot have anyone breaking into this ultimate top secret vault. Let me go ahead and do the same with the roof and the floor over here as well. Boom. There we go. And here now let me go ahead and start building the actual vault room. And I'm going to go ahead and build it out of these reinforced stone bricks because these are like super strong. I'm pretty sure they're actually stronger than obsidian and they look pretty cool. So let me go ahead and put a bunch of these right over here just like that. Boom. And here now all I need is a vault door. And ooh, okay, wait, this one looks good. It's made out of iron. That'll fit in perfectly with the stone bricks. So here, let me put those down right over here and let me put the vault door down. Boom. There we go. Go. And all right, what should I even put inside of this vault? Uh, I need to put the most valuable items that uh, we're going to own. So hmm, what's going to be the most valuable items that we own? Ooh, well, I guess for starters, we can go ahead and, you know, grab some diamond blocks and some netherite blocks, of course. You know, just in case like anything goes wrong and we're going to need some like backup stuff. We'll put these all over here. Let's go ahead and put some netherite on this corner just like that. And let's also go ahead and grab some gold and we can put that right over here in this corner. And oh, wait, hold on. Another thing that we're also probably going to need in here is some armor stands. So here, let me go ahead and put down some armor stands right over here just like that. Actually, let me go ahead and put them in the center over here like this. And ooh, okay, I'm definitely gonna go with this infinity armor. This armor looks sick. I'm just gonna put a bunch of them right over here. And anyways, just like that, the vault is officially complete. Let's go. And there we go. My house is done as well. And oh, perfect. Well, yeah, I guess so is mine too. Uh, yeah, mine's done too. It's ready for a tour. And okay, well, anyways, guys, now that all of our houses are done, do you know what that means? It's time to show our babies our houses and let's see whose baby likes their house the best. Yep, let's do it. And I'm obviously the best parents, so why don't we go ahead and start with mine? And okay, okay, I guess we can start with yours. Why don't you go ahead and press the button and spawn in your kid? Oh yeah, let's do it in three, two, one, come on! Oh, it's, it's a beautiful day. The sun is quite vivid this evening. How are you doing today, father? I forgot how weird this kid was. Well, I'm doing fine, and if you turn around, you can see your awesome millionaire tower. Millionaire 
tower. Oh, wow. The pristine quartz you build it out of. These glass windows help to complement the light. Well, if you just follow me, we can go ahead and get started with the tour. This is just the ground floor. There's not really much here. And wait, what? You don't even have like an entrance area? Can anyone just like break in? Uh, they can, but uh, you can not see the hidden lasers that check your net worth. And then if you're not over a million, they just uh, vaporize you. And, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Meticulous engineering is always fun. Yeah, and up here on this layer, uh, I added a little bit of fun for you. This is a whole bouncy floor. Oh, wow. This does help to release the stress of my calves. This is quite nice. Wait, what? How come I never got one of these at home? Uh, because, uh, yeah. anyway, the next floor uh, up here. All right, all right. Let's check out the next floor. And whoa, wait, is this the gym? Yep, I've got a whole gym of every equipment you will ever need ever. Uh, I've got some uh, Dance Dance Revolution over here. And of course, I've got speakers around so you can listen to awesome music. And then there's a bunch of stuff to work out with. Stream cardio machines. It's amazing. You've gotten this all in one space. Quite meticulous as always, Father. Wait, and, cousin? Uh, oh my gosh. Wait, what? You can't see? Uh, no, it's an off-brand. Uh, anyway, uh, up here on the next floor, I have made a, a laundry room for you to wash all your clothes with. And wait, what? You got a laundry room? And whoa, what? The, there's a lot of laundry machines. What in the world? Uh, yeah, well, there's going to be a lot of millionaires living here. But of course, you know, me and my son are going to have the penthouse suite. So uh, let's start working our way up there. How many floors are there? I'm getting tired. Uh, there's like nine or ten or whatever. But this oh is your gosh. vault speaker, man, baby. And you can see there is a tons of gold in here well, i do think this is quite the luxury father i do not understand why we need chandeliers instead of the vault uh, you know just to make everything look uh, better i do not quite understand the reason for these chandeliers being here as they could be a fire hazard for the gold i think it's better if we take these down yeah i guess they could be a fire hazard uh, let's just get rid of these and oh wait it's breaking the chandeliers they, they look kind of nice i don't believe in their worth at least in this wait room. what about the windows why do you have windows in a vault what if someone like breaks in oh yeah exactly you're pretty much just like showing off your uh, gold to everyone in the world exactly and they can't get it because this glass is uh, actually made of uh, a really uh, rare uh, crystal that only millionaires are resistant to. Uh, it it, uh, it uh, just vaporizes them on the spot as well, just like the lasers. Very well, Father. I s let's see if we can put that theory to the test it's, with uh, one of wait, these. Wait, are you letting the TNT? Uh, what in the world? Is, uh, why did you do no, that? Like They're not blast proof. They just vaporize people that aren't millionaires. Well, if anyone can just break it with TNT, I think it's a bad idea to have these windows in your vault. And yeah, you might want to remove these windows and probably you should use like stronger blocks. Like the quartz blocks got broken. You should like build the entire thing out of obsidian. Uh, no, uh, look here. I'll just uh, drain some money from speaker your baby's account just to get them below a million net worth. Oh, wait, what the heck? Are you taking my money? And there we go. And yeah, that's exactly what happens. Hey, why did you test it on me and not that other kid? Because uh, he's got too much money. He's got 10 trillion quadrillion dollars in his account. And what? Well, that's the heart of investing. That's how you become rich. Well, anyway, up the next floor up here, uh, we can just fly up here since, you know, the ground is broken. And whoa, wait, so this is your plane room. I actually kind of saw this earlier. Well, uh, you know, these planes are kind of slow. Mine is obviously better. Well, here you go, speaker man, baby. You've got a bunch of PJs ready and lined up ready for takeoff if you want to go take for a spin. I appreciate that a lot, Father, and I won't disappoint you with my flight. And, uh, wait, are you sure a baby knows how to fly a plane? Uh, yeah, look, there he goes. Uh, Father, it seems that you don't have enough fuel in this plane, and I seem to be dipping. And, uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, speaker man, I, I think the plane is about to crash, and oh, uh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, are you all right? Yeah, I should be fine. Thankfully, there was an airbag in that plane. And whoa, okay, yeah, that plane is pretty dangerous. You know, that would never happen in my plane. Yeah, what we make up for speed is safety features. But anyway, uh, the next layer area on the tour, uh, these are empty rooms for the guests to uh, furniture. And uh, wait, what, you didn't put beds or anything here for them? Hey, your guest rooms don't come furnished? Uh, no, they're millionaires. They could do it themselves. Uh, okay, that seems like a pretty bad user experience. But uh, all right, what's the next interesting floor? And whoa, wait, what in the world is this? This is the music floor where Speaker Man baby can create all sorts of music and uh watch all kinds of shows thank you father so much for allowing me to have all of these musical instruments to my perusal however i don't feel as if these lcd screens would be good enough for my retinas as it'll cause eye damage i think reducing it just to one screen would be good enough wait, 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 these tvs are expensive as much as i do agree father one thing you can't buy is your health especially your eyesight. Uh, yeah, I guess he's right. And, and yeah, he does have a good point. Plus, I can afford it. I, I guess I'll just help him clear it out. Don't worry, Father. I know a faster way to get rid of this. And, uh, wait, is he placing more TNT down? Wait, oh, no, gosh! No, 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 no! Uh, let me try and block it away! Uh. You, Father, I, I've been studying demolitions. I got three televisions done with one blast. Oh, wait, stop, 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 stop! Wait, um... I agree with Speaker Man, baby. I like what he's doing. And, okay, well, there goes all the TVs. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, I guess we can continue going with... With a tour up here, uh, you have your kitchen. And oh, wait, is this the kitchen room? And whoa, wait, you really do have a lot of fridges. What in the world? Uh, yeah, I told you. I thought you said you had 80 on every floor, though. Uh, yeah, look, if you count them, you have one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You give a few 80, 160, and then you just keep going. Um, I don't think that was good counting. I haven't seen any other fridges on any other floors. As much as I do agree with you guys and your questioning, the only reason why we need this many fridges is to keep our apples refreshed. Oh, yeah, he loves us apples straight from Fiji. Uh, oh, uh. Well, you know what they say. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. And, uh, I guess so, but uh, what else do you have? Because, you know, so far I've been seeing a lot of rooms that uh, are like the four stuff, but I haven't seen a lot of entertainment rooms, so this house seems pretty boring. And Whoa, wait, is this the bedroom? Yep, and everything is made to fancy speaker, man, baby. You see, we've got an entire wall of the best literature in the world, and then we've got a little uh, gamer station over here. Well, I do appreciate the kind gesture of you giving me this fancy game setup. I feel as if it'll only reduce my gains and cause more eye strain. So in all due respect, father. Uh, wait, ah, uh, I could have just oh, sold yeah, blowing it. Get up again. But here's what we'll do. We'll make some refurbishments here. Oh, what is he building? Allow me to answer your query, speaker babe. Nice bench press to keep my muscles in shape. And oh, he replaced the gaming setup with a bench press. That's pretty good. Uh, I guess that's fine, but uh, that's that's it for the house door. Well, I appreciate your amenities this time around, father, but I feel as if most of them were extremely extravagant. If you would excuse me, father, I need to take my nappy wappy per the usual. And, oh, he's taking his nap. All right, well, uh, do you guys want to check out my house next? I think it's a lot better than uh, this apartment over here uh, yeah we can check yours out but uh i'm not sure it's gonna uh, compete with mine i set the bar very high yeah no you didn't but dash come on push the button all right all right well here we go let me press my button and <gasps> Hello again, Dash Baby. Oh, uh, hey, Dad, do you have my Lambo, my PJ, and my Yachty yet? And, oh, uh, the hi, Dash Baby. Well, uh, I've got the... Well, you'll see. I finished the house. Do you want to come check it out? Uh, sure, but this better be good. And, okay, yeah, trust me. It's going to be really nice. Uh, your kid already sounds mad. What? No, 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 no. He's going to be super excited once he sees that I actually have all those things. But anyways, Dash Baby, here, follow me inside over here. The first area I have to show you is the kitchen room. Here, whenever you walk through this door, you'll instantly get food. Check it out. Uh, wait, what? An emerald apple and a steak? Uh, where's the cake and the cookie? Cookies. Oh, uh, well, Dash Baby, I actually did think about cake and cookies. I've got one cake right over here, and uh, it is pretty fire. It is literally the lava cake. And oh, well, here, let me go ahead and try it. Just a little taste. And ow, oh, wait, I'm on fire. And, uh, wait, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. And someone get some water. Oh, gosh. Dash Baby, come here. What cake is that? Quick, quick, quick. Get in this water. Get in this water. And oh, my gosh. Why did you set me on fire? And, uh, that wasn't me. It was the cake. I thought it was going to be good. And oh, gosh, it's like filled with lava. You know, when I think about a cake that sets me on fire, uh, uh, what is that? Oh, this? This is just my little friend Obsidian TNT. And, uh, why did you like that? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Everyone evacuate. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And oh, my God. Gosh, what? Why would you do that, Dash Baby? Uh, because you set me on fire with a bad cake. Yeah, I kind of agree with Dash Baby. Oh my gosh! Well, there was some good food in the fridges and stuff. We could have at least taken a look at those. Uh, I don't care. You showed me the lava cake and set me on fire. And oh my gosh! All right, well, follow me up this way. This is the next area. Uh, so over here we've got the guest rooms, which uh, I, I guess we can just skip for now. You know, we don't really need to see them. There's literally a hole blown inside of this one. But anyways, right over here is the gym. And oh, uh, the gym is uh, kind of down for maintenance right now. Don't worry about this. Uh, the punching bag still works at least. Uh, wait, a gym? I, I don't want to get healthy. Uh, why is there a gym here? I just want to play video games. And, uh, what? No, Dash Baby, working out is very important, okay? Uh, if you want to live here, you got to work out at least one hour a day. And, uh, you know what? Just to keep with the theme of the lava cake, I'm just gonna... And, uh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. I, I gotta put water all over this. Why are you putting lava ever? I thought you would like this. I haven't even seen a PJ, Lambo, or Yachty yet. And, okay, okay. Well, then here, just follow me. Come on. Let's just keep doing the tour. Doesn't look like your kid likes this very much. And, no, 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 no. He's gonna love it as soon as he sees the PJ and the Lambo and all that and anyways here is the uh balcony it's pretty nice although uh this area is kind of destroyed but anyways follow me over here this is the elytra course and oh wait uh, i need to break those blocks but anyways dash baby here check it out why don't you go ahead and stand in front of this thing and then you can grab yourself an elytra and then also make sure to grab some fireworks and oh i think i picked up your elytra there you go and oh wait i get to do an elytra course and yep and wait hold on in fact do you want to race uh sure but you're going down dad and okay okay we'll see about that well anyways here let's go in three two one one, let's go! And I'm already ahead. See you later, Dad! And what if you're not ahead? You're literally behind here. I'm about to win. Come on, come on. And oh my gosh, wait, I actually lost that to my own kid. What in yep, the world? I told you so, but anyway, since you lost, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of dish down. And dude, what are you doing? Dude, you live here as well. Yeah, it's gonna make the house look nicer. Trust me. Dude, what are you doing? Why, why are you putting stuff? Okay, dude, come Okay, follow me. <sighs> Fine, you better have something good or I'm burning this place to the ground. And okay, okay, I have something good. Here is your room. What do you think? You literally have 
have your own private soccer court inside of your room. Uh, soccer court? This looks like a laundry cage. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, like, no, it's not a laundry cage. What are you doing, Dad, baby? I'm playing soccer, right? Look, I'm getting, like, infinite points. No, that's not how soccer works. Okay, well, anyways, uh, here is your bed. You know, it's pretty nice. You have a, a desk set up right over here. You even have your own mini fridge. And, ooh, check it out. We got some of these super energy drinks. I'm actually curious what these things do. You want to try one? And, all right, here, let me try this. This better be good. And, ah, wait, where did wait, you get are you this right? from? Uh, I, I gotta just found it. What in the world is going what on? Did you give him? Ah, I, it was one of those energy drinks. And uh, uh, Dash, are you, are you, are, what is? How are you flying? Uh, I don't know. Uh, someone needs to get him some milk. And oh gosh, oh gosh, yeah, you're right. Uh, quick, quick, let me grab some milk. And uh, Dash, baby, quick, quick, drink this. Ah, I can't see where I'm going. And oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, everyone, grab milk. Come on, let's just throw a bunch of milk at Dash, baby. Where are you? Okay, here, take this, take this. Did you pick it up? And oh someone gosh, you did pick it up. Quick, 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 Dash, baby, take this. Oh yes, I got some milk here. I'm gonna drink it. And okay, okay, quick, 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 drink it. And oh my gosh. And okay, I think I'm good now. I'm on half a heart. What in the world was in that energy drink? I don't know, but that was fun. I want to try it again. And, uh, no, 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 no. Dash, baby, Dash, baby, do not try that again. I'm taking all of these energy drinks. Uh, we gotta delete these things. Uh, they are not good. Ah, uh, fine, but where's the PJ and the yacht? Where's the good stuff? Uh, okay, well, we don't have a yacht, but uh, the PJ is actually right over here. Uh, I kind of forgot to build a ladder to get up and, to it. Uh, wait, what? You don't have a yacht? Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do and, this. Uh, and... No, 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 Dash, baby, the PJ, the PJ, no, no, you're gonna blow it up. Uh, fine, where is it? And, okay, okay, follow me up here. You can't keep blowing up TNT. You're gonna end up damaging the, the private jet. But anyways, follow me all the way up here, and here is the private jet. What do you think? Oh, wait, this looks pretty nice. Here, I'm gonna take it for a test spin. And, uh, whoa, 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 you're gonna try flying it yourself? I don't think that's a very good idea. Everyone, prepare for takeoff. Whee! And, uh, no, Dash, baby, what are you doing? Ah, uh, your kid is a horrible pilot. Oh, Gosh, I'm gonna be sick. And oh my god, Dash, baby, come on, get out of the seat. I gotta drive this thing. You don't know how to Ooh. drive the plane. Ah, this ship is out of control. And oh my god, Dash, baby, get out of the Dad, seat. Dad, I'm not gonna lie. This RC plane is actually really fun. This is not an RC plane. There's real people in here. And yeah, you know, Dash, baby, I'm breaking the seat. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Get out. Get out of the way. And are you still controlling the plane? What is going you on? You can't stop me. Wait, guys, I have an idea. I gotta take this for my personal stash. If you stop flying, I'll give you some cookies. Mm, okay, sure. Hand him over. All right, here you go. Just please stop flying. Flying. All right, I'll stop flying, but wait, hold on. I kind of want to test something first. It, no, no. Oh my gosh. Why is the TNT tilted like that? Oh. Everyone, we gotta evacuate the plane. Go, go, go. And, oh my gosh. That was not a very good user experience. And uh, yeah, well, it would have been better if it wasn't for Dash Baby. But anyways, I do want to check out the Lambos. Not, well, they're actually not Lambos. They're kind of uh, dirt bikes, but it's same thing. Uh, sure, but there better be some Lambos and not dirt bikes and... Oh, uh, you weren't lying. Uh, yeah, they're dirt bikes. What's wrong with dirt bikes? These are better than Lambos. Look, you can hop on them and you can even do wheelies and stuff. It is so sick. Let's go. Wait, someone opened the door. Oh, there we go. Uh, do you have like a race course I can go on or something? And uh, no, I didn't really build a race course, but you know, we can kind of circle around the house. It's pretty nice. Uh, well, you know what I think about this? This is what I think about this. This whole place is horrible. I'm blowing this all up. Oh, that was a lot of TNT. Uh, guys, we might want to evacuate. Oh, gosh. Your kid's going insane. Quick, hit the button. And, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I need to despawn him. Come on. Come on. And okay, there we go. I think he should be gone. Man, that was something. And yeah, that was uh, interesting. But uh, speaker, maybe I guess your house is the only one left. All right, I guess it's time for my tour. So I'm going to push the button and hi, SBB. Oh, hey, dad. Are you ready for your tour of your giant cake palace? Yeah, I guess I'm ready. What do you mean? You guess you're ready. You're not excited. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted like a normal house. That'd be nice. And wait, uh, speaker, maybe I don't think your kid likes the cake palace. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on him. But here, SBB, if we come in here right over here, we have a giant cake room of all of our fancy cakes. What? Fancy cake? I don't even like cakes. Where's the healthy food. Ew, don't even bring that up. We have a bunch of cakes. Why would you want something healthy? Because it's better. You know what? This is what I think about cakes. There we go. Oh, no, what and, are you uh, doing? Is that an obsidian TNT? Oh my gosh, what in the world? Oh my gosh, SBB, why would you do that? Because I don't care for cake, that's why. But where's the next room? Well, it would have been the roller coaster, but you kind of broke some of it with that TNT. Oh, wait. There's a roller coaster? <gasps> if you ride it, it's not gonna work because it's broken now. I have to fix it. Oh, well, I didn't really care for the roller coaster in the first place. And wow, it looks like your kid really isn't interested in, like, anything. I, I don't know how this is my kid. But over there is the secret room that you should never go into. And then right here is the garage. And whoa, wait, hold on. Do you have Lambos in here? And <gasps> Wait, you got go-karts. Let's go! Wait, you said don't go in this room? Uh, wait, SPB, don't go in there. Do not, do not go in there. Whoa, wait, there's, like, TNT and stuff in here. Oh, no. And, Get out uh, of here right wait, now. What in the world is all 
all of this. SPV, get out of here right now. Why? This looks like a bunch of fun explosive stuff. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's why you should not be in here. Get out right now. Well, why don't I just put it to the test? Uh, don't do not uh, get out of here right now. Get out. Why do you have a room full of TNT? Uh, just in case you don't have one. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, just in case of what? You never know like zombies or the apocalypse or anything. Oh, fair enough, I guess. But wait, what do you have in your basement? That's what I'm curious about. Oh, uh, well, there's two separate ways. The right way is a jet ski course and the left way is my vault. Whoa, what? You have a whole jet ski course? Uh, yeah, of course I do. And it's just right here. Eh, I don't really care about jet skis that much. And what? Dude, your kid literally hates everything. But wait, hold on. This actually looks kind of fun. Yo, anyone want to race? Uh, sure, I'll race you. Oh, I've done this track so many times. I don't want to race. And, oh, yeah. Well, all right. I guess it's just me and you again, Speaker. And it's like that electric course that we were doing earlier. I'm probably going to win again. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely ready. But uh, there's no way you're going to win. And okay, we'll see about that. Let's go in three, two, one. Go! And what? No, I got stuck. Oh, well, here we go. I'm popping off. Let's go. I got the lead. Oh my gosh. These turns are so tight. Oh my gosh, Dash. You're flying through this. Well, come on. Wait, it's actually pretty easy. Come on. I just got to do these turns and boom. There we go. Too easy. I win like usual. Yeah, yeah. Home advantage. Whatever. I, I don't even live here. But anyways, Dad, what's the next part of this tour? And oh yeah, we have to check out the vault now, right? Oh yeah, I guess the next part would be the vault. So if we come down here, it's just a giant vault and that sign says make the right choice. So you have to jump on the right blocks. Otherwise you fall into that pit of lava. And what is that at the end? Is that a big cake? Uh, that is my most prized possession. Oh, wait. I think I know how to do this. Let me just jump over here. Oh my gosh. How are you getting every single jump right? Well, it's obvious there's torches on the right ones. Oh, uh, I Yeah, wait. I'm pretty sure those. the ones with the torches are the real jumps, and then these ones are the ones you fall through. I forgot to break those torches. Wait, I completed this entire course, and I get cake? I don't want this. Oh, why not? The cake is my most prized possession. That's why it's in the vault. You know what I think about cake? I, I just gotta go back real quick. Uh, what are and, you uh, doing? Wait, 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 wait. Why is he placing TNT? Just gotta keep going this way. Uh, SBB, don't do that. Don't do that. Please do not do that. What are you doing? Uh, wait, we should probably get rid of all of this TNT. I don't know what he's doing. And I need to go up here. And uh, Speaker Ruby, I, I think you should go run for your button. You, you gotta be quick, yeah, though. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Quick, quick, quick. Run, 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 run. Wait, where'd Speaker Baby Baby go? Oh, hey, guys. And, uh, wait, he's in that room. Quick, get the button. Guys, I think it's too late. And, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Uh, Speaker Baby Baby just got despawned, but I, I hear an alarm. I think there's gonna be a missile that's going off any second now. Oh, no, guys. We should probably run. And, oh, gosh, yeah, that sounds good. Everyone, dude, quick, to my vault. Wait, hold on. I forgot to show you guys my vault. Everyone, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can be safe down here. Quick, go, go, go. Oh, yeah, you're right. Your vault, quick, get in. Quick, 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 everyone. And, oh, the armor stands got blown up, but, okay, we should be safe in here, hopefully. Oh, gosh, I think I hear it. Yeah, I hear it, too. And, come on, come on. Hopefully, we're safe down down here and oh gosh oh gosh uh guys uh why do i hear that oh my gosh we were not safe everything is gone everything got destroyed who awoke me from my nappy wappy and uh guys i think speaker man baby woke up i think we should run that was pretty crazy and if you want to watch the next video then click on the video on the screen right now